Ashley Heideman from JD Advising. Before we dive into our video, let me give you some background on our completely free law school prep course. You can find a link below and sign up to access it right away. And if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. As of this taping, we have literally thousands of students enrolled in this free law school prep course. We're also very grateful that students rated this course an average of 4.76 out of 5. This course is posted as a free resource on the Law School Admission Council, or LSAC's website, and was just mentioned last month by US News & World Report and the National Jurist as being a helpful law school resource. It has also been promoted by the National Black Law Students Association, Phi Alpha Delta, and various law schools and undergraduate institutions across the country. Our goal here is to give you tricks and tips that will help prepare you for law school. We believe that if you have a firm grasp of these basics, the things that we will discuss in this course will help to set you apart from your peers in law school. So let's take a minute to talk a little bit more about legal research and writing in greater detail. So this is a class that most people take in their first year of law school. It is a very, very important class. Some might even argue that this is the most important class that you'll take throughout your entire law school career. The reason so many people feel strongly about the importance of legal research and writing is because this course teaches you how to write like a lawyer and how to conduct legal research. These are skills that you'll end up using in your legal practice every single day, no matter what you end up doing with your law degree or your law license. If you are practicing corporate law, if you're practicing criminal law, if you're in a courtroom every day, or if you're in a boardroom every day, these skills will benefit you throughout your career. And it teaches you practical skills that you'll need to be successful. Now there's gonna be a temptation to compare legal research and writing to your doctrinal courses. And you'll assume it won't be as challenging, and that would be a grave mistake. While you might not be learning the law in legal research and writing like you will in your other first year classes, it does present its own unique challenges. And I'll give you a few of the reasons that people find legal research and writing to be a challenging course. One is because unlike your other courses in the sense that there are usually assignments due throughout your entire semester in legal research and writing versus just having that one final exam at the end of the semester, and this can present challenges because we know your other first-year courses are burying you in work. Another reason some people find legal research and writing to be challenging is because learning to write like a lawyer is extremely difficult, and it's often unlike any other writing you've ever done before. It was actually my most difficult first-year class because as an English major, I thought that legal writing would come super easy to me. I had a lot of unlearning and learning to do at the same time. Conversely, you shouldn't feel that you'll be at an automatic disadvantage if you come from backgrounds in undergrad like math, science, engineering, or other majors that didn't require a ton of writing. You and your classmates will all be learning the mechanics of legal writing together. Other reasons that people find legal research and writing so challenging is because it's nuanced. You'll find in this course that not only is grammar very important, but learning how to create case citations and detail matters is also a part of learning to write like a lawyer. So this class will be very different from anything else that you're taking in your first year, and it's gonna present its own unique challenges. However, we're going to help you to overcome those challenges and to be prepared, and so that's the reason why this course is so important. These are skills you'll use in your daily practice of law after law school, and you'll also learn how to use these skills while you're still in law school. So you'll do things like memos and briefs and things that you might do in the actual practice of law or during a summer job, for example, while you're still in law school. You'll also learn how to conduct legal research. Now, most law school professors teach this by introducing their students to different databases. Usually they'll use uh, LexisNexis or Westlaw. These databases contain a vast amount of information. You'll find everything from case law to statutes, codes, and even law review articles, just to name a few of the things and the resources that these databases contain. It's also important for you to take your legal research and writing class seriously because these skills will not only help you in the practice of law once you graduate, but they're going to be very important for you during your law school career. 
For example, if you're interested in law review or moot court, these skills that you learn in this class are going to help you out in those endeavors as well because there will be a heavy writing requirement. The skills you'll learn in legal research and writing will also be utilized in upper level classes like seminars where you'll have to write really long papers. So these skills are important and we recommend that you really take your legal research and writing class seriously. Trust us, you will thank yourself later. So let's talk a little bit about this pre-law course and what you can expect as it relates to legal research and writing. We're going to teach you the basics. We're going to give you a basic foundation as it relates to legal writing as well as legal grammar. You're also going to learn the basics about how to conduct legal research and how to create a citation using what's called a blue book. And while these are basics, you're going to conduct some exercises that will also help you. And we believe that if you take this class seriously, you will enter law school with a competitive edge over your peers because you'll already have a taste of what to expect in this class. So in this class, there will be different exercises for you to complete along the way. Our recommendation is that you complete these exercises first on your own, and then you can participate in the video that corresponds. We hope that you find this class helpful.